Okay, so today I'm going to be filming my first ever Depop haul. Um, I've never, like, I have bought things off Depop in the past, but I've never done, like, a whole video dedicated to it. Like, I haven't bought loads, um, and that's going to lead into why I don't film hauls anymore. Um, yeah, because I did used to film a lot of those when I first started this channel, but for many reasons you'll find out later, I'm not really going to be filming many more hauls. Um, but yes, let's get into the video. <music> So a lot of this is mainly like fitness stuff, um, obviously because I do spend a lot of my time running or uh, even just home workouts and to be honest when I moved to uni I didn't really bring many shorts and stuff with me um, because I thought oh we're going into like September, it's cold but it's still been really warm here, this is probably the first day I've actually worn a jumper since being at uni but anyway. Um, so the first things I found were these like um, shorts from Primark. Um, obviously bought off Depop. I'll list, I'll link down below all of these like sellers in case you wanted to find anything yourself because um, they're still selling lots of other things. So they're basically like your normal kind of like flowy shorts but they've got cycling shorts underneath which I really really like especially when you're like also in the gym as well and you're doing squats or whatever like you don't have the worry of like oh my god is it going to be like see through when I squat because you've obviously got the black material over the top and also I'm a bit self conscious of my bum and my thigh area anyway so I hate just wearing normal cycling shorts so these are like my favourites I've got a pair very similar from Nike I think these were originally Primark um, they're a size 10 but as I said they're literally ideal for me um, and they're only £4 which was really good The next thing is a top from Tala. Now this was full, like, this would be like the same price, like retail. So this was £29, definitely the most expensive item in here. But obviously, I know Tala's an expensive brand anyway. So, uh, yeah, when I was searching for Tala items, I wasn't expecting things to be much cheaper than they were. Um, so it's just the, um, I think it's called the Celista, um Top in C. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a bluey, greeny, teal colour. It's got the Tala branding there and then it's like got a really pretty like crossover back um so yeah i can wear this without a sports bra it's perfect like honestly i love these sort of tops so you don't have to like worry about wearing a sports bra and then a top over the top of that and yeah you can just shove this on and go outside and run or go to the gym or whatever so it's literally perfect Next two are honestly so cute. Um, I would definitely link this seller down below as well. So the first one is like a cropped racerback top, which says watermelon sugar on it, and um, obviously um, relating to Harry Styles <laughs> and the song he's got out. Um, I don't have like this sort of colour in my wardrobe at all. Really, like I mainly stick like pink and white and grey. Um, I was like, you know, I want to put a bit of like colour into my wardrobe, but I can wear this with like a jacket over the top of it in this current weather um, for uni and things. And yeah, I just thought it was honestly adorable. Um, she did say when I washed them I need to like, put them in a pillowcase just to protect like stitching and stuff. And then I've got another one very similar um, which has just got the Nike um, logo but obviously embroidered with like flowers which I thought was really really pretty. They, she's still selling a black version of this um, so yeah I'll link it down below. Um, and then she also, because I bought two, she did like a bundle for me so I, I got two, I think they were originally £9 or £8 each. But I got two for like 16, so which I thought was a really good bar. Obviously, I have to pay postage, postage on top of that. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these, like, they're really good quality. I think they were originally like Brandy Melville tops, so they're quite like thick, which I really, really like. Yeah, now I'm going to talk about why I don't uh film hauls anymore. I have written a few notes down just so I kind of stay on topic. So, um, okay, so one, I don't need as many clothes as a result of lockdown. Um, I was one of the pe many people during lockdown, I literally got rid of two bags, like bin bags worth of like clothes that I just didn't wear anymore. I think really being like in the house all the time and obviously not going out, not having to wear different outfits, like made me realise I was like, I really don't need like the amount of clothes I used to buy. It was just getting like really out of hand and um, yeah, when I realised I was getting rid of like literally two bin bags worth of clothes, I was like, I really don't need to keep buying like new stuff for my wardrobe. Like obviously I know fashion trends change over time and stuff, but like things like going out tops, like if you've got like your specific style or whatever, you should be able to like have items which you can just keep re-wearing like season after season. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely trying to invest in like clothes which are going to last me quite a long time. Like 
sort of the things I just showed you that they're quite basic pieces but you can like dress them up and dress them down um, obviously it's different by like, fitness stuff but like those two tops I can wear them to skirts with jeans um, even under like pinafores and things like that so yeah as I said um, as a result of lockdown when I cleared out my whole wardrobe I have done a whole video on that as well um, it did make me realise I was like right I really don't need as many clothes as I thought I did the next one is money I would rather save right now obviously I am 21 uh, so I know I'm fairly young but obviously I'm in that period of my life where I do want to be saving up for like for travelling or for like a house in the future and like if I'm not spending like be between like 40 and 60 pound on clothes a month like that is gonna like save me so much money and as I said I can put it in my savings and like use it for like actual days out and like good memories rather than just on like clothes which just sit in your wardrobe um so yeah I'm definitely become a lot better with money I think over the past year or so next one is I'm not going out as much so I don't need new clothes as I said with corona like I'm not going out clubbing all the time not that I really did before but when I was at like, uni especially I would obviously be going out for drinks for clubbing or whatever um but yeah as I've like stopped doing that I, obviously I have been going out for drinks recently but not as much as I used to like I don't feel the need to be wearing different outfits all the time um I think Instagram really plays a big role in that like um like the amount of times I wouldn't like post a photo of an outfit on Instagram because I've already posted it or like I wouldn't wear clothes in public because some like people would have seen it on Instagram already like it's just like such a bad mentality to have and I think that really contributes to like fast fashion and people buying like new clothes all the time um but yeah now as I said since lockdown I've realized I've, there's a lot of clothes in my wardrobe that I don't wear which I want to wear more often or like I can just wear the same top and maybe wear it with a skirt instead of jeans like to change the sort of mood of it um so yeah, that's definitely made me realise. Next one is fast fashion causing so much waste and like damage to the environment. Like I was really not aware of this until probably this year. Um, obviously the brand I mentioned, Tala, they do like um, produce a lot of blog posts and like Grace Beverly shares articles all the time about how much fast fashion causes waste. Like a lot of the time when you return clothes, they can often just like be sent back to landfill because there's too much money for them to like repackage them. Or whatever which I think is just horrendous and um, I think fast fashion is like the second most wasteful like in industry which I think is just disgusting because this like world is not in a good place <laughs> climate wise anyway um, so yeah if, if I'm not just buying loads of clothes that come in single use plastic that's got to be better for the environment um, so yeah I do want to make more use of like Depop and like charity shops and things like that um, and just definitely like stop the online ordering Next one is workers being paid unfairly with like from non-ethical brands. Um, even watching the misguided documentary a few weeks ago, um, like seeing that woman like basically begging the supplier to like give it to her for much cheaper, which is makes you think it's like, oh my god, how much money are these like workers who like work in a factory for twelve hours a day sewing all these clothes, like how much are they actually getting paid? And yeah, it does really make you think when you watch things like that. And yeah, I just don't feel comfortable like supporting brands like fast fashion brands who just sell their clothes really cheap because like as I said it makes you think it's like well how much other people who are working tirelessly to produce all this stuff actually getting paid and how they're getting treated as well and um, the last one is I'd rather spend it in like smaller businesses as I just said and um, the girl on Depop she does this all on her own I'd rather spend money on like places like that than like big multinational companies um, as I said at least I'd rather know where uh, my money is going and like how the workers are getting treated and stuff again like more up and coming brands especially like Tala and things they do like make it quite clear how their workers get paid or how they've been treated during corona times which I do really appreciate and I don't mind spending that extra money if I know like obviously the workers are getting treated better and like the clothes are being sourced more ethically I know you've got to be very careful of like greenwashing but yeah that's basically why I'm not buying new clothes all the time anymore like literally in my first when I especially when I first started the channel I was like what 16 17 I was doing hauls all the time because they're very popular videos on YouTube like I used to watch them all the time as well myself but as I said just as a result of this year it has made me realize that like buying like loads from Primark or like um this guide and things like that is really not good for the environment um so yeah I, I am kind of choosing not to buy my clothes from there anymore like I'm not going to stop completely I think it's like quite a big adjustment to make but um I know I'm quite lucky I've bought a lot of my clothes myself over the years which can last me I said I bought this like last year 
this is from I saw it first, like obviously I probably won't be buying from there anymore, but it's just a white jumper, this will last me for it. It's one of the ones from the Sophia and Chintzia collection, it says like S and C on the back of it. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's just a comfy jumper, <laughs> like I can wear it with anything. And yeah, um, so that's why I'm not going to be filming many hauls anymore, as I said, if I do get a few things from Depop or like birthdays and Christmas or whatever, um, I will obviously show you what I got because I do love fashion, I do love clothes, so I'm not gonna like stop creating content like that, but I'm just not gonna be buying as much of it. Um, so yes, I hope you liked this video. Um, I hope it made sense as to why I'm not gonna be filming hauls, hauls anymore. Um, because I think as well, YouTube really does play into that, like the whole culture of like needing to buy everything that's new from Primark or Zara or whatever. Um, because obviously so many influencers like make those videos, which is like fair enough, you do you. But like growing up, it definitely made me think, oh my god, I need to like have more clothes because everyone else does. But you don't have to like you don't have to have like new stuff all the time every season. Like you can rewear clothes, that is okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry that got a bit rambly. But as I said, please like and subscribe if you like this video. Let me know what other videos you want to see. I have got a few like listed um, in my own notebook. But um, yeah, I always like suggestions as well. So yes, please like and subscribe if you want to. Follow my Instagram for more fashion-related content. And I'll see you soon. Bye.